Hey folks, as always, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to my current followers. And if you stumbled across this review, give a comment, give a like, give a follow. Hopefully you'll follow now. Hopefully you'll follow future ones. And as always, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to enjoy the ride. So today we are looking at Campus Protein. They're an online retailer of supplements. Okay, and this is their own personal pre-workout, I guess their house product, and it's called Fuel. So let's just quickly look at the bottle first, give a glance. So it's very interesting looking. I mean, this is their Baja Breeze. There's a couple of different flavors, and agree to disagree. When I look at this, it looks very similar to G Fuel, which is one of the most popular gamer fuel formulas on the market. Okay, my son uses it. He likes it. I've tried a little bit. It's not bad, but again, it's for the gamer. It's not for the, the lifter like you, I, and anybody else watching this. So what you see on there, 30 workouts, okay? Marketing, shouting, 30 workouts. And as we know, 30 workouts is very, very rare nowadays, or I should say 30 servings, very rare nowadays. Everyone's going towards 20, a couple of 25-ish, and I've actually seen one company at 18 and again you should not settle for anything less than 20 that's my opinion take it for what it's worth let's look at the ingredient panel and this is where we have some fun again let me first state i've got nothing against campus protein i know they're very very popular um, some good prices good selection but again my intent is just to educate you the followers avoid the crap you know don't get caught up by marketing by colors and by price Okay, price is important. Again, when it comes to ingredients, you get what you pay for, but sometimes don't get duped by thinking. I know I'm kind of confusing the heck out of you, but uh, let's look at the ingredient panel. So again, 30 servings, 9.7 grams per scoop. So we've got niacin, we've got sodium, creatine monohydrate, 1,500 milligrams, okay? So the positive, creatine monohydrate, that's the only form that I would recommend to use. Don't get caught up in the HCL. Don't get caught up in the crealcaline. Creatine monohydrate, the cheapest, and agree to disagree, the most effective form. Okay, thousands upon thousands of studies on this. This is probably one of the most highly researched ingredient on the market, over 25 years old. 1,500 milligrams, okay? We all know the magic number is five grams, and if you're doing more of a maintenance dosage, three grams. Me personally, I don't think it has any need whatsoever in a pre-workout, okay? Creatine monohydrate should be used daily. And how many of you use a pre-workout daily? If you're like me, maybe three, maybe tops five times a week, okay? Because you're integrating different pre-workouts, maybe a fat burner, maybe you're just having a cup of coffee on a light day. But anyway, three to five. So this is at least half underdosed. We've got carnosin at beta, uh, beta alanine. Carnosin is a, a registered brand of beta alanine. Go either way. I mean, sometimes I think you're just paying for the trademark or the registration. I can go either way. But uh, 1,200 milligrams. I mean, that's almost one third the dose. You all know the key word, clinical dose, 3.2 two grams and again 1200 so rough math that's almost two-thirds less okay we've got l arginine to 800 i'm indifferent to that i mean 800 it's a cheap ingredient so you should be dosing that somewhat regularly or decent 800 to a thousand milligrams and arginine is for the pumps We've got the betaine and hydrus, 500 milligrams. That's just so bad. That's for power. That's for output. Um, citrulline, L-citrulline. Again, the positive note, it's the purest form, which I like, 450 milligrams. Okay, this is, again, for the pumps, for the blood flow, for the circulation. That minimally, minimally, should be 3,000 milligrams, okay? And I know some people say five, six, eight, but minimally, 3,003 grams. And again, an abysmal, abysmal 450 milligrams 
tyrosine at 280. Again, that's the cognition. That's the focus. Frick, boys and girls. 280. Should be at 750, 1,000. I've seen some as high as 2,000. Just, again, choline by tartrate. Again, that's another focus type. 250. So even, you know, people want to say there's the synergistic effect of the choline and the tyrosine. Looking at 530. 530. That's just, again, poor, poor, poor. Caffeine and hydrous, 250 milligrams. That's the only respectable thing in here if you're looking for a daily driver. I mean, me personally, I don't think people are smart to do the, the high stims daily. I like to kind of cycle it up and down. One day I might just do my workout with a cup of coffee, which is 80 to 100 milligrams. Other days I might do 250, 300. And on the weekends where I can kind of just chill and not worry about how much stim, I'll do a high stim, 350, 4, 450. You've got taurine at 220. That's a like a hydration. It's amino acid. It's a hydration. That should be the thousand too, guys. <laughs> 220. And L-norvaline. That's an amino acid. Doesn't need to be in here. I know there's studies that say yes, no, maybe so. 120 and huperzine at 2.5 milligrams, which basically we yield 1% of that. I mean, when you look at this. They're trying to be respectful to give you the, the mental cognition, the focus, and then the stim, okay? And even at a low, low price of how much, folks? $29.99, not even worth it. I mean, for me, I'd rather go out and spend $7.99 for a one-pound or two-pound bag of Dunkin' Donuts coffee or Starbucks mix it myself and have two cups of coffee because that'll give you the same effect as taking this product here. And again, one third the price would probably two to three times the dosages. Again, guys, hopefully you're enjoying these. No hate, just kind of trying to educate. You like that, how I kind of make that back and forth. But as always, guys, don't let me deter you. If you like this type of product, go for it. Who am I to say? But again, I'm just here to educate. There's other products here, like you can use a product from PWR Supplements. That's $29.99. Not a ton of ingredients, but the few they have in there are well-dosed. There's other products out there, Pure Supps. Um, but again, I'm just going to end on that note, guys. Agree to disagree. Comment below. Like, follow. And as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day. Take care. Be well. Sub Talk Radio.